Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. Today we are getting ready for the holidays. A very quick, easy, everyday running errands type of glam. The countdown in my head has officially begun because there is still so much left to do. I'm really trying not to fall behind. One of my favorite retailers, Kohl's, has been such an incredible partner helping me for the holidays and they've sponsored today's video. So I'm going to be getting ready and sharing some of my favorite Kohl's purchases. I have a very small, very humble Sephora at Kohl's haul to share with you because I took advantage of the 20% off gifts for all event. So I picked up a couple things and I figured we could try them on camera together. I love this little mini gift set. This is from Say Beauty. It's the mini dew blush trio. This had sold out a couple weeks ago, but it's back in stock at Kohl's. It's a $62 value for just 30 bucks and I love the three shades inside. I think this is a great gift for yourself or definitely a great gift for any beauty lover. The shades are Rosy, Chili, and Baby. Now this I already unboxed during a Kohl's live stream. This is from Charlotte Tilbury. I wanted to check out her new holiday collection. This is the Hollywood Blush and Glow Glide Palette. There are two different shades and I picked up the Fair to Medium and I love these colors. And I think this would also make a really cute stocking stuffer. This is a really beautiful blush shade and the highlighter is gorgeous. And I love the texture. It's really creamy, even though it is powder. After this, I'm swearing off lip product purchases for probably all of 2024. I don't need any more lip products, but I was just so tempted. I am a huge fan of the Tarte Maracuja Juicy Lip Plump. I have a couple different shades. I've gone through an entire tube. But then they launched this new sparkly version. This is the Shimmer Glass. I saw the viral swatch video on TikTok and I was instantly influenced. So I picked up Peach and Rose in the Shimmer Glass. And finally, I have the new Nest New York Lishi Rose Perfume. I love Lishi, I love Rose, and I love Nest New York. So even though I haven't tried this yet, I feel like it's going to be really good. And then I have a few other older products that I just have never tested yet. So I figured we would just throw everything together. These are the top two highest rated liquid foundations according to the website. We have the Lancome Tinty Doll Ultra Wear Care in Glow and one of my all time favorites, Estee Lauder Double Wear. I've used this quite a bit recently, so I wanted to revisit the Lancome. I wear shade 310N and I love that this formula contains skincare. I want my makeup to be pretty soft and glowy today. I usually apply with a foundation brush, but I'm using my sponge today. This is the Sephora Pro Sponge. I really like it. If you're still looking for the perfect holiday gift or looking for a great deal on beauty products, the gifts for all event might be over, but the fragrance for all event is here, which is another 20% off coupon. It's for beauty insiders, another one-time use only but it's on all full-size fragrances. Use code FRAGRANCE20 at checkout and it's good until December 24th. I've been doing a lot of my Sephora shopping through Kohl's this year and I have racked up so many Kohl's rewards and Kohl's cash and I've actually put a lot of it towards my holiday gifts and holiday decor. The highest rated concealer on their website is also from Lancome. It's the Tinty Doll Ultra Wear All Over Concealer. This is shade 095. Even though I live in Miami, I've been on a bit of a sweater kick lately. I guess because I don't really have a great selection of sweaters to choose from when it does get chilly or if we travel, I don't really have a lot to wear. This sweater that I'm wearing today is actually from Kohl's. I picked this up with Kohl's Cash. It's so cute. I love the material. It's really soft and stretchy. It has this sweetheart neckline that I think is really flattering. I ran into the store the other day to pick up my Sephora order. I did buy online pickup in store. That way I could take a look around, see what else they had. And I found so many cute things including this sweater. I picked up a sweater for my husband. That's gonna be one of his holiday gifts. I just need to wrap it. For me, when I'm looking for sweaters, the number one thing I look for is, is it soft? Because there's nothing I hate more than an itchy, scratchy, you know, those acrylic sweaters that it almost feels like you're wearing a Brillo pad. It's exfoliating your body even though you didn't mean to. It has to be cute, but it has to be comfortable. That's the number one rule. So he's going to get a sweater this year. My mom is also going to get a sweater. I ordered the most beautiful Simply Vera sweater. It's now one of my favorite sweaters. It's cream, it has a really beautiful turtleneck. Again, very soft. I love a cream sweater for the holidays. I think it's always really chic and 
kind of timeless. And I thought, you know who would also really like this sweater is my mom. I bought the exact same sweater for her in a different color. So I need to wrap both of those sweaters and put them under the tree. I love that cream sweater so much. I'm really tempted to pick it up in every single color that it's available in my size because I know I will wear it in the future and it's just kind of the perfect lightweight cable knit sweater. I used Kohl's cash to cover my entire last purchase. In fact, the lady at the counter was like, well, your total is zero. In fact, I think I still have maybe $7 left. But what's great is that on top of the Kohl's cash and Kohl's rewards, they always have some sort of deal promotion sale going on. So especially if you're shopping online, you can just click down all of the boxes and see all of the money coming off your total. It's incredible. I'm gonna warm up my face using the Say Sun Melt in the shade Light bronze and I'm still using the same sponge. I've used this for everything so far. As new homeowners, part of our excitement is decorating for the holidays and I've picked up so many cute things. And what I've noticed is that they carry a lot of the same brands as other luxury retailers, but they'll offer the same item at a fraction of the cost. I was doing a comparison the other day and I was shocked because the garland that I purchased was a third of the price that I saw at another store. Now that we have the garland situated, I feel like I can add other decorations like home fragrance, candles. Of course, I have to throw my Nest Reed diffuser up there, Nest candles, because they smell so good. It really does smell like fresh pine. And I think the flocked looks really good. I don't know, I've never had a flocked Christmas tree or flocked decorations, maybe because it feels so unrealistic in Florida where we never get snow but I'm testing it out and I think it looks really pretty and it just puts me in such a good mood. Of course, there are always different trends, but I'm curious, do you usually keep the same decorations every year? Do you throw in a few new things if something catches your eye? Are you more traditional Christmas? Do you like pastel, colorful Christmas, all white glam? Retro, what is your vibe for the holidays? We are doing snowstorm Christmas this year. <laughs> That's the theme. It's time to try one of these new blushes now and I have no idea which shade to choose. I think I'm gonna go with Chili first. I love them all, but this one looks really gorgeous. It's kind of a berry mauve, but it has more of an intense tone. I just love this color. It looks pretty deep, but this is a dewy blush and it's a Say product and everything they do is very natural. So I think it should still work. I'm really putting this sponge to work today. Ooh, I love it. I love that color. It's so natural. Kinda wanna add a little more. Let's go directly to the cheek and see what happens. There we go, you can build it up a little bit. Now I'm really excited to try the other two shades, but that is a really pretty color. I'm gonna blend it up on the temple. I'm even gonna take it into the eye a little bit. If you know anyone who's really into no makeup makeup, clean girl makeup, this would definitely be a great gift for them. Now I'm almost wishing I had picked up two. I could have given one as a gift. I have one final holiday lunch this week with my girlfriends. There's five or six of us attending, so I wanna make sure I get everybody great gifts. I quickly powdered my face and I know we already did blush, so we're gonna have to skip this one for now, but I do wanna go ahead and highlight the face. I'm just gonna use my finger for this. This shade reminds me a little bit of Pillow Talk. It's maybe a mix between Pillow Talk and their original light shades. Something a bit pearly, cause it does have kind of a pink undertone. It goes on pretty intense, so by blending it out with my finger, helps to soften it up a little bit. Can I just tell you how happy I am that this Makeup by Mario eyeshadow palette is back? This was my go-to palette for the longest time. I've kind of been going back and forth. I've been using my new Patrick Ta Major Dimensions 3 palette quite a bit, if I'm being honest when it comes to a neutral palette, but I still have so much love for this one. And this one has the sparkly metallic shades that are missing from the Patrick Ta. So there's definitely room for both in your makeup wardrobe. As far as neutral palettes are concerned, this is outstanding. I know a lot of people were disappointed when this first launched because it sold out and it was supposed to be limited edition, it was gone for good, but then he did the smart thing and brought it back. I'm adding just a little color in the crease. 
I'm running errands today so we can keep this a daytime look. I'm channeling my Sugar Plum Fairy because I have so much blush on. Using the same brush, I'm gonna run a little bit of that shadow beneath the lower lash line. Using my finger, I'm gonna pick up this sparkly shade up here. This is so pretty and it goes on almost wet. It looks very sheer and sparkly, which I like because that way it's not too much glitter. I'm very carefully going to pat that on the lid just to give a little something. I'm gonna do my liquid eyeliner on camera today so I can show you the process. This is a different formula than the one I've been using and I picked this up randomly the other day and it was so easy, way easier than most of the other liquid liners that I've tried and I don't know if we've talked about it yet. It's the Too Faced Better Than Sex Easy Glide Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner. There is no secret at getting this right. Practice makes perfect is the best thing I can tell you. If you wanna work on your liquid liner skills, you just have to keep practicing every single day because you build up the muscle memory and that's when it finally starts to get a little bit easier. But something I've been doing is I've been making my wing a little bit thinner, a little bit flatter, not such a dramatic angle up, and I've also been trying to bring it back to the lash line kind of flat, in a flatter way. So, very carefully I'm starting at the corner of the eye and I just do a light little flick. Perfect, very precise. I'm not going to start bringing back the wing all the way out here. Instead, I started connecting back about halfway through that first swipe. And then I line the lash line a little bit just to make everything blend together. Fill in the gap of the wing. If I close my eyes, it might look a little dysfunctional, but when I'm looking straight on, I think it looks perfect. Same thing on the other side. I'm gonna scoot in a little bit closer and I'm gonna be quiet just so you can see the entire process. I'm telling you, I do liquid liner just about every single time I do my makeup, and this one is so easy. Brows are now done, so I'm quickly curling my lashes. This is the Shiseido Eyelash Curler. It's an award winner, and so many people have talked about this. It's known as almost the gold standard in the makeup industry, so I wanted to try this one. And I do really like it. And I have a new mascara here to try. Not new, but new for me. This is from Benefit. It's their Fan Fest mascara. My favorite Tower 28 Make Waves is starting to dry up, sadly. Of course, I could just replace it, but I had this on hand and I figured we should test it out and see. I do like the curved wand. Lots of separation. Not bad for one coat. Let me see if I can build up the volume a little bit. That's the only thing that's missing right now. There we go. Ooh, I like that. You can build up a little volume, but it still doesn't get clumpy. I have a drawer filled with open mascaras that I've used a handful of times and then I just don't really care for them. The Tower 28 has been the first mascara in a long time that I've opened and I've used the whole thing up but this is gonna be next. I really like it. My favorite thing about it is that my lashes don't look clumpy at all. Eyes are now completely done. Last up is lips, and I'm gonna throw on the Tarte Maracuja Juicy Lip Plump in Rose Shimmer Glass. I think this one is going to give a little more color than the peach, and I'm so excited. See that you can tell has shimmer. Ooh, that is frosty. That is much frostier than I thought. Ooh. I don't know, how do we feel about the frosted lips? I feel like this is a trend that comes and goes and it always comes back around but never stays very long. They feel amazing. I love the mintiness and the plumping. I think I might just need a lip liner and it'll be perfect. I wanted to show you the color before lip liner. 
And this is the final look. I quickly touched up my hair and then I did a few finishing touches. So let's talk about them quickly. I added some lip liner. This is one of my favorites from Sephora. The shade is 04 Creme de la Creme. And I think it adds just a little more color, a little more definition. So now I really like the lip. I think it's a pretty everyday lip, even though it's shimmering and you might think, ooh, that's gonna be more of like an evening thing. No, I think it looks really pretty. It just helps the lips look really juicy and reflective. It's pretty. This is a Sephora 19 brush and I picked up this kind of pinky mauve, pinky move, and I dusted a little bit of that in the outer crease just so I could tie that into the pink from the cheek. That way the blush that we blended up to the eye area connects and it has a little bit more of a pinky tone to it. Other than that, makeup is done. No, we are not done. I can't believe I almost forgot. We have the Lishi Rose Fragrance. It's described as a vibrant combination of Rose Absolute and Fresh Lishi. Accentuated with the sparkling essence of pink champagne, a hint of raspberry to create this effervescent fruity floral fragrance. I love a fruity floral and I love all of those notes. So let's try it out. Oh, I'm excited. I love the bottle. This is so beautiful. Ooh, this is so pretty. If you love rose, I think you will really like this. I get a little leashy. It's mostly rose. This is very rose dominant. It's much deeper and moodier than I expected. I don't know why. I thought it would be really light and floral, but it's beautiful. Okay, this is going to be my fragrance of the day as I run errands. We are now in the home stretch, so I have to run out and pick up some last minute holiday things. Ooh, I'm definitely picking up the berry. And that completes today's video. Thank you so much for watching and for getting ready with me. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Leave me your comments, questions down below. As always, I will be linking everything mentioned, everything on my face. All of the products mentioned today can be found at Kohl's. I will make sure to leave all the information so you can sign up for their rewards program. I love a loyalty program and this is one of the best out there. It is truly outstanding. You will notice a difference when you start shopping at Kohl's, how much money you actually get back and then you can turn into other things, other purchases, it's amazing. And for more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell.